Hello everybody. Um, one of the viewers uh, suggested uh, I uh, do a video about uh, uh, trip planning. How I trip, uh, you know, when I stop and uh, how I choose how many miles to do. Um, and I wanted to show you a couple of tools uh, I use. Uh, first of all, all professional drivers in uh, US and Canada have to uh, to keep this uh, driver's daily log uh, and it has to be um, updated every time you uh, you stop or start driving right so that's where you put the date you know uh, your uh, driver's number uh, truck trailer number you know it has to be signed and here you have to mark you know what state you're driving in I mean US or Canada and here your state and they're very particular about this because even if you miss one thing you can get into trouble and the way it works you see this is uh, basically hours of the day so let's say if I was off till 8 o'clock I just draw a straight line like this and then go down uh, because that's off this is on duty right and then I show let's say 15 minutes and then I make a mark here saying that you know per trip inspection and uh, let's say Cambridge Ontario basically you have to show uh, town and uh, state or province and then after 8 15 I'll go up here right just another straight line and it's driving so now after 8 15 I'll, I'll just show a straight line going this way uh, driving and let's say I stop at 10 o'clock then I go like this because that's off duty and let's say I stop for 30 minutes and I mark like this and then I go back here driving and uh, they can catch you for anything uh, as small as this see this box here for Canadian travel you have to mark 70 hours in in seven days instead of instead of uh, uh, 70 hours and eight days in US uh, so uh, a couple of times I forgot to mark this and uh, our log department from Lansda gave me gave me some you know talking to so this is your you know tractor license plate trailer license plate and then you have to do this is your inspection you have to sign date so it's a sometimes it can be a pain in the butt so I know people from Europe will be surprised to see this because they all use uh, uh, you know those magnetic cards and a lot of companies here in the States they use uh, uh, they use electronic logs nowadays and I tried those and you know they are okay because uh, this the, when you have them uh, you, you almost guaranteed not to have any small mistakes in your in your paper logs but what I do I just print out that page I make copies and then let's say I have 20 25 uh, blank pages and I fill them out uh, every time and then when I'm done when I deliver a load I scan them and uh, I email them to to my company but basically the rule is is that you cannot drive more than 11 hours in one day and you cannot or it's a couple of hours more I think it's 13 hours in Canada and you cannot be on duty uh, just to show you again uh, let's see so let's say if I started again at 8 here uh, I have to shut down at 10 it's uh, 12 12 hours plus 2 in US so US rules are stricter but basically because you see here it says uh, caps right recap so that's how you can calculate how many hours you have left because not not only are you limited in how many hours you drive per day and how many hours you work but you also limited how many hours you can work in seven days or actually is it eight <laughs> no seven I think yeah 70 basically uh, it's 70 hours uh, let me show you the trick here 70 divided by 8 is 875 which is eight hours 45 minutes so if you work more than eight hours 45 minutes every day then sooner or later you're gonna be out of hours you know what I mean because you only allowed uh, wait a second I'm, I'm missing I'm mixing it up with uh, Canadian rules because in Canada it's slightly different so it's eight right yeah so you only allowed 70 hours and eight days in US you know so after that you have to take a uh, you know a 34 hour 34 hour reset kind of you can have to, you have to show you know at least like one and a half days that you were off and then you get back then all those hours and you can again start driving so it's kind of tricky and you have to keep track of that 
and that's of course the main thing you look at when you plan your trip and of course then you know before I go anywhere I always uh, look stuff up on um, uh, on Google Maps uh, my favorite tools let's say tomorrow Monday I'm picking up a load in this uh, Elmira Ontario so of course the first thing I do I just you know uh, I know my truck is in Cambridge Ontario so the first thing I do I wanna know for sure how far that is you know like 41 kilometers or 25 miles okay that gives me an idea okay it'll I'll need half an hour to get there and I already have all the paperwork uh, like if, to cross the border and then let's say from there I'm going to, uh, uh, to towards the border let's say Buffalo New York see I wanna know how far the border is and you see this tells me okay so it's two hours no wait a second from Elmira so it's 117 miles that's perfect because I, I I always like to stop every couple of hours you know to stretch my legs you know go grab some coffee or tea or you know go to the washroom so I know for example here there's a duty-free plaza and I always stop there on the on the Canadian side it's over here uh, right before the bridge so so this way I already know basically each time when I start driving I'm trying to plan and I want to know where I'm gonna stop in two hours you know uh, I know this area of course because that's where I live but after that I'm going to I forgot the name of the town where I'm going but uh, it's Massachusetts yeah so it'll just send me over here like the generic uh, but that's pretty much where I'm going like close to Boston right so and I know it's about uh, my whole trip will be about 500 miles right and I try to I try to stop for the night and this is all toll uh, highway I know they have very nice uh, rest plazas you know not just uh, washrooms but they have uh, you know coffee shops McDonald's you know you can watch TV there uh, pretty much all of them have free uh, Wi-Fi internet so I like to stop over there on the on these toll highways like I-90 uh, this is New York and then this is Massachusetts right so you always plan ahead of course and um, I'm a bit lazy um, when it comes to where I stop how far I stop from the delivery from the delivery place I try to stop you know maybe I don't know like not more than one hour away so let's say if I stop uh, uh, somewhere here what happens here okay that's uh, Massachusetts oh, okay I think it's this one yeah okay let's say if I stop over here I'll be only 30 miles from my destination you know let's say if I know that traffic will be crazy there you know I don't wanna drive late at night so maybe I'll stop somewhere here you know but I think it's a very good idea not to stop more than 60 miles away from your destination in the morning so otherwise uh, anything more than one hour like sometimes I used to stop like two hours away and then you know you start rushing because that's a long way uh, to, to your destination and I don't have this uh, uh, directory with me here and since I'm doing this on the computer like a presentation but this is my favorite uh, tool that I'm using this is a national truck stop directory it's kind of like a book and the best part about it is that it has this um, each state has a page like this and uh, uh, like big truck stops like those that have a restaurant or you know scale and stuff like that they're marked with uh, black dots and if it's a gray dot that just can be you know just like a quick you know a diesel station so I always look for these black dots because uh, you know let's say I know I'll be going let's say this is what Alabama right I'm going through this Alabama and I know that I'll be on this these are freeways right let's say I, I know I'll be on this freeway 65 so then I see I look uh, okay I see that the Priceville and, and uh, Folkville have a have a full service uh, truck stop and then you go at the bottom like on the next page of that directory it'll give you all the uh, details like you know location exit number stuff like that even the phone number and you know of course you can find this on the GPS but this way it's much faster and it gives you a you know kind of a big picture I like using these print materials um, you know as much as possible even of course I have a computer I have a GPS but I like this this is 
it costs only like 14 bucks and lists pretty much uh, all major truck stops in uh, in every state and province in Canada and US and um, it's national truck stop direct we see the price here 14.95 so you can even buy it if you live somewhere in Australia and uh, this is really popular I think this is how it uh, yeah here's how the actual page looks like in that directory uh, well this is yeah you see well, of course it's it has to be turned over but that's that's the town name here and let's say first you find the town where the the truck stop is right and let's say this is Chandler and then it tells you what it is loves travel stop right it gives you uh, uh, the exact exit you know which freeway and the, the phone number and then of course the best part is it'll tell you whether it has a full full restaurant and I like this Excel means extra large truck stop because if, if it's small or s uh, you may have trouble finding a spot there you know after 5 or 6 p.m. and so there's lots of nice information this is these cat uh, icons mean that there's a you know scale there and then you can look this where whenever you see a black square that means that they have this service like here for example okay showers communication scales tires you know you can let's say if you need to do a quick repair uh, you can look here see repairs minor repairs and you can see which truck stops have this uh, black square that means that they do oil change and minor repairs so I love this I love this uh, this is a really you know helpful um, uh, directory I've been using them ever since I got my uh, driver license in, uh, for big rigs in 2005 and then of course I, I carry this in my um, in my truck uh, this is a special road atlas it's called motor carriers and it's done by Rand McNally they also uh, have their own line of GPS's but this atlas it's you know it's um, it's a Klondike of, of information uh, it's very sturdy it's uh, laminated uh, I see the price here is 1995 I think uh, the bigger one is more expensive but you can usually buy them at the end of the year or middle of the year let's say if it's 2013 uh, in a few months they'll be on sale uh, I don't think 1995 is the price for for a regular big one at the truck stop it's probably more like 30 40 bucks right now but uh, you know just make sure if you're a trucker make sure it says motor carrier road atlas not just regular you know car driver road atlas so this is what we got what we use here this is good for Canada and US it's great it's very detailed shows you all the freeways in all towns I love it and it's pretty big it's like the size of a newspaper you know it's not just like a book uh, and that's what I do so that's uh, that's kind of like tool number one then truck stops tool number two and of course I use Google Maps because I don't use uh, internet on my phone I, I decided not to do that I just have a basic phone um, well not a basic one it's a Ravine 2 you know that sturdy um, army type of a phone but I use internet on my uh, laptop I'd rather do that than you know uh, squint at a tiny uh, display on a, of, a, of a smartphone and then I use this so these are the main tools I use uh, when um, when deciding how how many miles I do and but of course like I mentioned before uh, with the daily log I know that if I can I don't want to even drive more than eight hours a day you know I try to if I start at eight in the morning I know that I will need the entire day to do 500 miles you know because I personally I drive slow because the prices are pretty high on on fuel here uh, on diesel so you know I try to start let's say around seven you know I set up my alarm clock for six I go you know brush my teeth you know do the washroom stuff and then if I'm on the road at 7 a.m. I know that I'm doing great then I can be done by five o'clock and normally that's what I shoot for I shoot for uh, 500 miles every day uh, and that's it uh, so thanks for watching uh, we'll see you on the road